his home state of New Mexico. Uh, but while uh, there have been one or two questions I've raised about the new uh, Treasury Secretary, Tim Gantner, coming from the uh, New York Federal Reserve, uh, and also uh, inevitably some questions uh, about uh, Hillary Clinton uh, and uh, her husband, uh, who's been appointed to Secretary of State, uh, there does seem uh, to be uh, this mood of uh, uh, can do, if you like, yes, we can, uh, and also goodwill uh, extending uh, into the Congress at the moment. Uh, anxious uh, uh, really to support Barack Obama and getting off this wrong start. And he'll certainly be very pleased to see uh, that some of his proposals, uh, uh, the nominees, uh, have been uh, approved so quickly. Uh, but uh, at the same time, we have to remember uh, that Barack Obama has gone out of his way to reach uh, the legislators halfway. Uh, that there are very few controversial recommendations uh, for offices in his administration. Uh, most of the people in his name, uh, you can see they are his name in, uh, they are well known uh, in the spheres that they're going to work. Uh, and so uh, it's been a certain amount of, uh, uh, I suppose you could say, uh, use that time and that factor of constructive nominations uh, and work right here by letting them through. Well, it's certainly quite a contrast in the level of sort of liaison and cooperation and cordiality between now and the last handover between the two parties uh, eight years ago, which of course was Bill Clinton's administration handing over to George W. Bush's, which was uh, notoriously full of animosity. Yeah, I, th I think two reasons for that. The first is... Uh, Barack Obama won this election fair and square. Uh, he got 53% uh, uh, of the vote, uh, won in almost all uh, demographics, age groups, class groups, uh, except uh, uh, for the elderly and for uh, uh, blue collar working class white men. Uh, he did extremely well in the election and so did his party, uh, the Democratic Party, uh, taking uh, clear control in both houses of Congress. Uh, that's one reason. Uh, but I think the other reason is that we have gone through an era, some would call it the neoconservative era, uh, of uh, very, very uh, partisan and personalised politics, personalised attacks on politicians, uh, of course uh, typified in the view of some Democrats uh, by that attempt to uh, impeach uh, uh, President Clinton uh, over uh, Monica Lewinsky. Uh, and there's a certain mood, I think, in America uh, that uh, uh, people feel that that era has now played itself to a close, uh, and uh, they're looking uh, for a more constructive, more bipartisan uh, approach to politics. And that certainly uh, is a mood uh, which uh, Barack Obama has tried to build on uh, by, uh, for example, uh, making a point of attending a dinner honouring the man he beat uh, in the presidential election uh, last, uh, la uh, last night, uh, John McCain. Uh, and really the figure that we're seeing as a loser in all of this at the moment uh, is Sarah Palin, uh, the uh, very partisan.